Well, it's time for another Monday reflection on this Thanksgiving week. Here at the parish, we just completed our four-week series on our magnificent destiny. And this last week, I talked about judgment, what's on the final exam, a little bit about hell and purgatory. And you know, we've, through the whole month, we've had some, some really fun and I hope informative and inspiring sessions for you on what we call typically the last things, the things that, that define really the purpose, the meaning, uh, the direction of our lives. So a couple fun ones for you first, and then a little more serious thing about the Feast of Christ the King that we just had this past weekend, and which launches us now towards Advent, Thanksgiving and Advent. So two lines for you. Um, this is again relating to what we're gonna be judged on at the end, and how God wants us to live our lives fully. So here's one. When I get old, I don't want people thinking, what a sweet little old lady. I want them saying, oh crap, what she's up to now. Here's another one. Life's journey is not to arrive at the grave safely in a well-preserved body, but rather to slide in sideways, totally worn out, shouting, holy cow, what a journey. I think God takes a lot of pleasure in us living each day fully, taking some risks, getting out there, knowing that we're going to make mistakes once in a while, coming to him for forgiveness, living with gusto, not holding back out of safety or a false kind of piety or something like that, but using the gifts, the life, uh, everything around us in the fullest possible way, in a way that honors God fully and gives him glory. So the Our Father, I think, is the ultimate prayer that speaks to us about the Feast of Christ the King. So if we were not using this series, I probably would have preached on that a bit. Um, but I want to remind you, if Christ is the King, that means his kingdom is the place where he reigns. So we're the Our Father, where his name is hallowed, revered, respected, where we pray that his kingdom will come, the values of his kingdom, the language of his kingdom, as I talked about yesterday, certainly respect and kindness and generosity, patience, but also courage, truthfulness, self-sacrifice. That's the language of God's kingdom. Thy will be done. Again, wanting in everything that we do in our life and everything in our world, in our church, in our politics, that God's will will be done. And then at the very end of the Our Father, uh, deliver us from evil. Because we are in a world where there is temptation, where there's many things that can compete for our attention, for our ultimate allegiance. So we pray that God will protect us from evil and lead us to everlasting life. And then the tag on that we use at Mass and in some of the translations, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm grateful for you. Thanks for tuning in on these uh, videos, on our e-news. Uh, thanks for your connection with our parish in whatever way that might be, directly here at Masses, virtual or elsewhere around the country and world that are watching. I'm grateful for all of you. Thanks. Pray for me and I continue to pray for you daily as well. God bless you.